January 11, U.S. Phase 3 price controls begin. Allows for voluntary instead of mandatory price control on all U.S. prices. This does not prevent a sharp rise in heating oil prices caused by a severe winter and shortage of product. January 17, President Richard Nixon suspends mandatory oil import quota on No. 2 heating oil through April 30. January 23, Shah of Iran announces that the 1954 operating agreement between a consortium of oil companies and Iran will not be renewed when it expires in 1979. The consortium was formed in 1954 as a means to settle a dispute between a new ministry in Iran and the Anglo-Iranian oil company AIOC. The consortium included Standard Oil of New Jersey, Standard Oil of California, SOCONY Vacuum, the Texas Company, Gulf, Royal Dutch Shell, the Company Française de Petroles, and the AIOC. February 28, Iraq and IPC reach an agreement on compensation for nationalization. March – Special Rule No. 1 reimposes mandatory phase two price controls on the 23 largest oil companies. Smaller companies, representing 5% of the market, enjoy uncontrolled prices. March 16 – Shah of Iran and consortium members agree to nationalize all assets immediately in return for an assured 20-year supply of Iranian oil. March 16 – OPEC discusses raising prices to offset decline of U.S. dollar value. April 1 – OPEC increases posted prices by 5.7%. April 18, U.S. government ends mandatory oil import program. Program, established in 1959 by President Dwight D. Eisenhower, had limited imports of crude and product east of the Rocky Mountains to a percentage of domestic crude production. June 1, eight OPEC countries raise posted prices by 11.9%. June 11, Libya nationalizes Bunker Hunt concession, Nigeria acquires 35% participation in Shell BP concession. June 14, Nixon administration imposes 60-day economy-wide price freeze, superseding special rule No. 1 for oil companies. August, Libya nationalizes 51% of Occidental Petroleum Concession and of the Oasis Consortium. August 17, President Nixon's Cost of Living Council imposes two-tier price ceiling on crude petroleum sales, production of old oil that produced at or below 1972 levels from existing wells to be sold at March 1973 prices plus 35 cents production of new oil that produced above 1972 levels from existing wells and oil produced from new wells to be sold at uncontrolled prices September 1, Libya nationalizes 51% of nine other companies' concessions, Esso, Libya, Serta, Mobil, Shell, Gellensburg, Texaco, Socal, Libyan American, Arco, and Grace. September 5, Conference of Less Developed Countries approves forming producers' associations. Calls for withdrawal of Israeli forces from occupied Arab lands. September 15, OPEC supports price hikes and designates six Persian Gulf countries to negotiate collectively with companies over prices. Other members to negotiate individually. September, Kuwait rejects gradual participation increase plan, insists on immediate 60% participation. 
October 6, beginning of Fourth Arab-Israeli War. October 7, Iraq nationalizes Exxon and Mobil shares in Basra Petroleum Company representing 23.75% equity in the company. October 8, OPEC meets with oil companies to discuss revision of 1971 Tehran Agreement and oil prices. Negotiations fail. October 16, six Gulf countries Iran, Iraq, Abu Dhabi, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and Qatar unilaterally raise the posted price of Saudi light marker crude 17% from $3.12 to $3.65 per barrel and announce production cuts. October 17, OPEC oil ministers agree to use oil weapon in Arab-Israeli war, mandate cut in exports, and recommend embargo against unfriendly states. October 19, President Nixon requests Congress to appropriate $2.2 billion in emergency aid for Israel. Libya, Saudi Arabia and other Arab states proclaim an embargo on oil exports to the United States. October 23, Arab oil embargo extended to the Netherlands. November 5, Arab producers announce 25% cut in production below September levels. Further cuts of 5% are threatened. November 18, Arab oil ministers cancel the scheduled 5% cut in production for EEC. November 23, Arab Summit Conference adopts open and secret resolutions on the use of the oil weapon. Embargo extended to Portugal, Rhodesia, and South Africa. November 27, President Nixon signs the Emergency Petroleum Allocation Act EPAA. Authorizes petroleum price, production, allocation and marketing controls. December 9, Arab oil ministers announce a further production cut of 5% for January for non-friendly countries. December 22, OPEC six Gulf countries decides to raise the posted price of marker crude from $5.12 to $11.65 per barrel effective January 1, 1974. December 25, Arab oil ministers cancel January 5% production cut. Saudi Arabian oil minister promises 10% OPEC production rise. 